Hi, I'm Ben with RA3D Team Redux, and we're going to show dropping the cone in at the single substation at various angles. Um, we've got HDPE on here that uh, is, should be somewhat reflective of what's actually on the field. So we're going to show that versus the team elements. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SOLIDWORKS is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. SOLIDWORKS can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com slash FIRST to register your team. Stryker is one of the world leading medical technology companies and is driven to help make healthcare better. Stryker's commitment to innovation has made it a career destination for engineering professionals. Click the link in the description box below or go to careers.stryker.com to discover your next opportunity. To start, we're going to drop the cone in at various angles. Remember, you can only have momentary incursion with the human player into the field. So it's not like you can hold the cone down here and drop it. That's not something that you're able to do. We're going to start by showing it at zero. Five degrees. Fifteen degrees. Twenty-five degrees. 35 degrees, 45 degrees, 55 degrees, 65 degrees, 75 degrees. Then we'll show a backwards cone. Then we'll show an upright cone with the flat pointing toward myself. Then we'll show a an upright cone with the corner pointing toward myself. Now we'll do with an upright cone pointing going flat. Now we'll do an upright cone with the corner going first. So as you can see, they've all landed on their side so far. All right, now we're going to show cubes dropping through the feeder station with three different inflations. So this is the least inflated. This is the medium cube inflation. And this cube is way more inflated. They tend to go further if they're more inflated, but otherwise they pretty much just drop down in an orientation that's easy for the robot to pick up. Now we're going to show several drops on the wood field elements. As you can see, some of those landed upright. So this led us to believe that this could potentially be something that the human player could train um, in order to get a consistent upright cone. With the uh, wood feel, it's a little bit trickier with the HDPE on it, though. So highly suggest teams look beyond just the wood field elements and look to get some HDP of your own to try to get something that's relatively close to what the actual field elements are. Because otherwise you may uh, not necessarily have the same experience reflected on the field. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll have more R3D videos showing up on Fun's YouTube channel. You'll see more of us there. Thanks. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Stryker is one of the world leading medical technology companies and is driven to help make healthcare better. Stryker's commitment to innovation has made it a career destination for engineering professionals. Click the link in the description box below or go to careers.stryker.com to discover your next opportunity. SOLIDWORKS is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. SOLIDWORKS can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com slash FIRST to register your team. Thank you to all of our suppliers and sponsors for the Robot in Three Days Redux and Kettering Bulldogs programs.